Very broadcasting live from Loco Bazooka, but you might notice it's a little quieter because now I'm hanging out in the posh accommodations of Mr. Travis Meeks from Days of the New, headliner of this year's Loco Bazooka 2000. And I'm going to come over and sit next to you on this very nice soft leather couch. Yeah. Which matches your very nice soft leather pants. Yes. Good morning, by the way. You got that right. You got here about uh, about 2 p.m. and the crowd was pretty loud when you got here, so I assume that Definitely. getting any kind of good night's sleep was impossible for you. Very rowdy crowd, a lot of loud music. Uh, it's a great festival out there. It looks good. Seems like it's going to be a really good show from here on out. Yeah, we're going to have a good time. Now, the guys from Dope are on right now, then uh, Disturbed, One Minute Silence, and then you on the main stage. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to the show. Um, I just uh, haven't seen anybody flashing anything yet this evening. Oh, believe me, there's boobies out there. Don't you worry. If that's what you're looking for, WAF equals boobies. That's all you have to worry about. Uh, that's all gone. <laughs> now, uh, you've been gone for a while. You kind of disappeared for a little while, and now you're back. And uh, that means a new album, I'm hoping. New album next month. Um, maybe I'm lying. But you, you wouldn't be the first man to lie to me. It's okay. No, uh, I don't know. It, uh, I'm hoping to get an album out by next month or so. Um, yes, I have been missing in action. Um, I am currently uns allowing everyone to unsolve the mystery of uh, Days of the New. It's been a big mystery and gossip and la la la. But it's been pretty interesting. I've been pretty entertained by it. Everyone jibber jabbing about, you know, Travis Meeks and his unrecognized ass. Um, but I recognized your ass right away. I don't I don't know who didn't recognize it, but I spotted that thing from like 50 yards. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, uh, you took a lot of time off. What were you doing? You're like jet skiing? What, what's your passion now? Uh, I was making albums. Um, I made the second record and it was a great experience for me. And uh, it definitely drew in some fans that I I, could, I wouldn't return. I wouldn't tell him to go home. Um, wouldn't kick him out of bed for eating crackers? No, I mean, the first record was a great experience for me, but the, it's like the fans that really, the fans that I've even drawn even from that point on, I mean, I, I don't alienate any of my fans, but it just seems like from that build on, they've just been very uh, loyal. Well, there's a huge momentum behind Days of the New, and of course you did a huge tour with Metallica, and exposing yourself to large groups of people like that, you have music that a lot of people can identify with, and it's very approachable music. It, it doesn't come off as something that's so abrasive that you can't really attach yourself to it, and when people become a Days of the New fan, it seems that they stick around. Yeah, we'll see what happens today. I'm kind of curious because we've got a lot of, uh, you know, I don't know how to really label it. There's a lot of really heavy bands out there. Is that what you're talking about? Punk. It's like, well, I don't know how you would label it. But uh, it, it's, it's going to be an interesting show. I, I can guarantee that. <laughs> Since the night I got